Hi, in this example, we will look at some basic and intermediate formulas and inbuilt functions. We have already given a named range to this data set called data. To find the sum equal to sum of data, to find the average average of data, to find the number of blank cells, we say count blank and data. To find the number of numbers, we say simply a count and data. To find the number of text values, there is no inbuilt function, so we will have to do count all of data minus count of data. To find count all, we've already done this, it's count A of data. The maximum would be simply max of data and min would be the minimum number, min of data. To find the second largest number, we can write large, select data, and then select the position, which is the kth variable that we want. To find the average of the three smallest numbers, we can write average, write small data comma one, small data comma two, and then again write small data comma three. A smarter way of writing this long function into a single function would be, into a single shorter function would be to write average small data and then in curly braces we write 1 comma 2 comma 3 like this and we get the same result. If we want to convert inputs from column T into inputs from column U, we have to use different round functions. If we want to convert 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. 6, 7, 8, 9 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can use round down, select the original input and then say comma 0. The next one would be minus 1. The next one is minus 2. And the next one would be round up. Let me just write these formulas again because I seem to have selected the source as the first one. So the next one would be equal to round down and then minus one. Then we have round down minus two. And then we have equal to round up this time because we want to convert one, two, three, four, five into one to 400 by saying two. This gives me two decimals on the right. So we have to do a minus two to get one to 400. Here are the answers. Round down comma zero round down comma minus one round down comma minus two and then round up comma minus two we can also use equal to round down again and then use minus three to get twelve thousand we can use round up and then plus three to get my mistake minus three to get thirteen thousand and then towards the right side of the decimal we can use round down and then comma 2 to get 6 7 if you want 6 7 8 we can use comma 3 and then finally we can write round up comma 2 to get 1 2 3 4 5 point 6 8 here are the answers round down comma minus 3 round up comma minus 3 round down plus 3 and then round up plus 2 In this example, we are looking at 1,512 units that have to be equally distributed among 17 warehouses. Now, the problem is I'm not sure if 1,512 can be perfectly divided by 70. So rather than doing a hit and trial, we can say equal to M round, which is for multiple round, dividing 1,512 by 17. And it very smartly tells me that the closest number to 1,512 that is perfectly divisible by 17 is 1530. To make it a little more impactful, we say that the distribution cannot be more than the number of units available. So we use an if condition where we say that if the multiple round of 1512 divided by 17 is greater than the original number of units, then I want 
the multiple round divided by 17 to be reduced by the units once. Otherwise, we can continue to write our multiple round as it was written earlier as well. And here if you notice, just a minute. And here if you notice, it gives us 1496 because 1513 would have been an allocation of more units than we have with us currently. Hence, the number has been reduced to 1496. This is the formula. If you change the number of warehouses to 19 or to 23 or to, let us say, 123, we get different answers every time. In this range of cells, there is an error value and there are two labels A and B. The problem with Excel is that if you find a sum of all these numbers, you will get an error because that is how Excel handles errors. What we want to do here is to write aggregate and then select 9 as our function code. Since we want to ignore the error values, we say 6 as our option. And then finally, we choose the data range. This gives us 155. Similarly, to find the average, we can use an aggregate and then 1 as the function number for average, 6, which will ignore error values, and then select the entire data set. This gives us the average, excluding the error value. The problem with both of these formulas is that when we format when we sort the data and look at A or look at B, you notice the answers do not change. Now, because we do want to sort B and only find the sum of the values visible on the sheet, we will have to write an aggregate with again a 9. But this time we choose 7, which is the option which says ignore hidden rows in addition to ignoring error values. And then we can select the data set. This means that if we choose A, it only shows me the sum of the values visible on the screen, which is for label A. And if you choose B, it only shows me the values visible on the sheet now, which is for label B. There are several other formulas that allow you to find out total cells, blank cells, non-blank cells, numeric, non-text, text, logical error of different types. You can have a look at all the formulas that have been written here. These are not used very commonly, but every once in a while, they might come in handy.